All right, so we're basically um, going to put the ingredients for the cream together. So the first phase is called the oil phase, right? Emulsions or creams and lotions, which are emulsions, meaning we're emulsifying water with oil, basically always have two core parts, the oil part and the water part. And then sometimes there's a third phase, which will be our case today as well, which is when we add essential oils in or an antioxidant, and that's called the cool down phase. So there's the oil phase, the water phase, and the cool down phase. So I have my cup measure, I'm gonna tear, which means I'm going to zero. So I'm going to add one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter, and that's going to make up the three quarter cup of carrier. So one quarter cup of baobab. <laughs> I love making cream. And that equals to about, so one quarter cup, and always take notes, baobab is 60.27 grams all right and then i'm going to add a quarter oh i was going to do a little over a quarter cup my apologies all right so i just went a little over and that equaled 83.27 grams. I'm going to tear. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of hemp seed oil. And I've teared the scale. quarter cup of hemp seed, which is not the same as CBD. This is uh, the oil pulled from the hemp seed, and that was 50.13 grams. And then the rest is going to be rose hip seed. And sometimes the lid just gets a little crystally. I like to wipe it off with my sanitizing spray. Tear the scale. And we're going to bring this up to three quarter cup. Okay. And that equals 40.63 grams of rose hip. So it'll be interesting to see the hemp is kind of a green color. So we have, you know, a little bit of a olive oil looking um, combination. Oh, sorry, of the oil. If you can see that, it's a little olive oily. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what color the cream comes out. It's the first time I've used hemp in a cream, but I thought, oh, that'll be really nice for our dry skin right now. Okay, so that is our three cup carrier oil. And again, you can choose any carrier oil you would like. If you are going to use something like rose hip seed, I do recommend putting in rosemary CO2 extract, the antioxidant, not the essential oil. So we'll add, you know, a quarter of a teaspoon. Let me add that in, quarter of a teaspoon, rosemary antioxidant. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in now so I don't forget. All right, so I'm going to add in um, my rosemary antioxidant now. And I'm just going to do a quarter teaspoon. Okay. And that equaled 0.91 grams, 0.91 grams. Okay, so that is the oil part. 
Now we want to weigh the beeswax. All right, so now we're going to weigh the beeswax. So we have a bowl that's been cleaned and we're gonna put it on the scale and we need one half ounce of beeswax. That ounces to 23 grams, so half an ounce. It's nice to work with the pastilles um, instead of having to cut this big piece of beeswax, but if you that's what you have, it's good. All right, so we've got our half an ounce weight of beeswax equals 14.24 grams. So 14.24 grams of beeswax. Okay, so we got our half an ounce of beeswax and then one third cup of coconut oil. So, I always need so much to make cream, so let me put some of this away. And I do already have my double boiler. I'm gonna turn it down. But basically, once I've measured out the coconut oil, I'm going to add the oil phase ingredients into the double boiler and let them melt down. Third of a cup, so that's what this is, third of a cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there. And again, like I said, you can replace the coconut oil with um, babasu. I mean, it looks essentially the same. It has the same, I believe, the same melting point. So a third of a cup of coconut oil is 58.69 grams. I'm sorry, I did a little bit extra because some of it's gonna stay in the measuring cup after I scoop it into the double boiler. Okay, so you can see the double boiler. So at this point, what we're going to do is add in the beeswax and always add beeswax in first so it can start melting. beeswax and then next I'm going to add the coconut oil or butter really it should be called. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. I feel like the cup wasn't quite um, filled so I'm going to add just a little bit more. With that at this point you're basically going to let this oil phase heat up and combine. And I do recommend having either a glass or a metal stirring rod works really well just to stir the ingredients um, together. Okay, and I'll show it to you. It's, you know, it looks like kind of a, like a salve mix. It doesn't take it very long to melt down basically almost done actually. I'm going to add the oil. Okay, so once the coconut and the beeswax have basically melted down, add in your carrier oil mix. And just stir. That way it doesn't have to sit on the heat so much to wait for the beeswax to melt. And then really the moment that it is mixed and melted, you want to take it off the heat. Paper towels and what you're going to basically do is turn the heat off, move this over, and you're going to wipe the bottom of the pan just to remove any moisture. Now with Rosemary Glad Stars Cream, oops, sorry, you're basically going to let the oil phase sit to the side and form like 
basically harden. It'll be kind of a like a salve texture. So at this point, we're basically just going to, and I'm going to get a paper, another paper towel, put this on. All right. So we're just going to leave it to the side. I've turned the heat off. And we're just going to let that sit and come to room temperature. If you're in a rush when you're making your cream, you can always um, put it in the fridge. Or sometimes I'll put the lid on and stick it outside if it's a cold day. Um, and that works too. All right. Now I'm going to clean up and we're going to come back and do the water. Cream making is quite the process, but I, I love making creams and I hope you do too. Um, I do want to say one other thing about this particular cream versus one with um, an emulsifier is that um, Rosemary Glad Stars cream is great to make from the autumn into early spring when it's cooler weather. <clears throat> Sometimes in the summer, um, we can get a little bit more separation in the cream. Um, and often in the summer, it's not quite as urgent to be using a cream on the skin, except for the face, um, as the other seasons, autumn, winter, and early spring, where the skin can be um, very dry. All right. Okay. So. For the water part, we need two thirds cup distilled water and or hydrosols. And I'm going to use a third of a cup of Neroli hydrosol. So third of a cup of Neroli hydrosol. It's going to be gorgeous. Third of a cup Neroli. And that is 75.88 grams. Now, the way I have made this all these years is to do oil into water. Um, you can also add the oil phase into the blender and do water into oil um, if you want to experience kind of the difference as far as the emulsion it does make. But I've always had my water in the blender and added the oil in and it's been fine. So I'm just going to add in this hydrosol into the blender. And then I'm going to use one third cup distilled water. One third cup distilled water. Tear if you're going to weigh. And that is 74.95 grams. All right, so I'm going to add this into the Neroli Hydrosol. And last, I need one third cup aloe vera gel. I'm just going to give it a shake. One third cup. One third cup aloe vera equals 71.49 grams. <laughs> Always keep your formulations. So I'm going to add that into the water. Okay. You could, if you wanted, just give it a little stir. So at this point, we have this oil, I don't know if you can see it, right, that's going to harden into a salve-like texture. So we want to leave that until it's ready. Um, and then the same, we want the water to get to room temperature. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on and go get it So for now, so no dust gets into it. I'm going to go get the lid, I'm going to clean up, and I'm just going to let this sit. And, and really what you're waiting for is the oil phase to come to a um, 
semi-solid um, texture. But both of this, and this particular cream, you want both the water phase and the oil phase to be at the same temperature. There's other types of cream making, usually with an emulsifier, where you can combine them when they are hot. But this particular cream calls for combining the, the oil and water phase once they are at room temperature. All right, so we'll be back. All right, so welcome back to the final part of the cream making. So I'm just gonna spritz my hands. Um, the supplies you'll basically need include kind of these um, silicone um, spatulas. It helps to both mix the cream and then pour it out into jars. So these come in handy when making cream or even using a pre-made cream. I'm going to clean them off. Sanitizing spray. All right. So here is, I'll show you, here is the mixture of that kind of salve like mixture. Um, so this is the, the oil phase, and we'll just kind of dab a little so you can see. You know, it's like a Vaseline like texture. And what we're basically going to do is I'm going to turn um, the blender on and I'm going to start with the cap on. So I'm going to just turn it on low for right now. And then basically after it's kind of, sometimes it gurgles and you have to stop it and then um, kind of move things around. But this is going to look like, almost like a lotion actually. So and again, there's no magic to the cream turning out the exact same every time why it's a little thin but it still looks like a great emulsion so I'm just gonna turn it on one last time So there is our cream, which to me is a little bit thinner than, than my creams usually are, I don't know if you can see it. And we're going to pour it into a, some jars right now so you can get a sense of that. But yeah, this is much thinner than my regular cream, but it's a good thing because it shows you that... Um, Measurements are important, although I feel like I measured really well. Um, could be that my scale is a little bit off right now, so I'm going to kind of troubleshoot a little bit. But whenever you, it still looks great, I'm happy with the emulsion, just a bit thinner, more lotion like than cream. All right, once your cream is ready to go into jars, you can do one of two things. You can either add your essential oil synergy into the cream and blend it all together or you can have individual cream jars that you customize with different essential oils. I'm going to clean this out. Um, a two ounce cream jar hold, will hold approximately two fluid ounces of cream. 
So and typically we add about a 1% dilution uh, for face creams of essential oil. I just want to sanitize everything. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to weigh because I'm interested in seeing how much a two ounce jar will hold weight wise. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh my cream because that'll help me kind of each of the jars that I do have figure out how much essential oil to add into it. Um, although, like I said, Generally, a two ounce jar is just under two fluid ounces of cream. So, I'm gonna go ahead, and like I said, this is a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna get it to pour out. It might thicken up overnight. We'll see. It's a little warm in here today. All right, so two ounces will hold. 49.58 grams and I could also I'm not going to add it into here but because this is a little bit thinner um, and I suspect it's because it's a warm day um, I, I could add it into like a flip top pet this is I believe eight ounces um, yeah it's eight ounces with a flip top and it can be a lotion. So I will do that later. And we are going to add, so a two ounce jar, 1% dilution is 12 to 18 drops. So 12 to 18 drops of essential oil. So I've selected three essential oils I'm going to work with for this particular cream. So I'm only going to make one cream at a time. And I always like to have these little 10 mil beakers um, to weigh the essential oil drops. You don't have to weigh, but I've gotten into the habit now, and these 10 mil come in handy for that. So with my 10 mil jar, I'm going to tear. So I am going to do six drops lavender. Six drops lavender is 0.21 grams. I'm going to tear. I'm going to do four drops of cystus. Ended up being five drops. 0.11 grams. And five drops carrot seed essential oil. So ended up being six point one six grams and then I'm just gonna kind of swivel it around gorgeous and I'm gonna add it into the cream it helps to have a glass or a metal stirring rod so I'm gonna go ahead and add into the cream and Gently stir it. And this is exactly what you would do when you're make, uh, making, like using a pre made cream base. Um, you would simply add in your essential oils. And you want to stir it for a few minutes just to make sure it gets well combined and that those essential oils are in the cream completely. Yeah, this is thickening up just a little bit. Okay. Try. Mm, gorgeous. It's nice. It absorbs nicely into the skin. Okay. Last step, if you're making this for somebody, is you can take a little bit of alcohol and very gently wipe the sides of the jar to remove any cream there. All right, that looks nice. And so that's your cream.
and it really came out lovely I'm, I'm happy it's definitely a little thin I'm going to do a lotion in this bottle um, it's eight ounces and then I'll pour the rest of the cream in these larger jars um, just because this particular cream is for myself and my husband um, and we'll use these larger jars so which this is a four ounce so I would just double the number of drops in a four ounce jar all right so that is rosemary glad stars cream uh, I have a couple of other cream recipes inside the course and this is just a great first cream making um, recipe to use and like I said earlier in the video uh, this particular cream works really well in the cooler months. Um, in the hot months, there can be a little uh, separation, um, which is easy. You just stir it up and you can continue using the cream. All right, I wanted to show you, this is a, another cream I made, a uh, slightly different formulation, but you'll see where this one is a bit runny. This is a pretty solid um, you know cream thick rather not solid but thicker cream and this is our frankincense rose cream which is so lovely <laughs> and I made this about a month ago I think is the month yet yeah, for Christmas so December so a little over a month and it's still holding a its emulsion um, and B it looks looks good no mold no no weird smell so we'll continue using this cream but I just wanted to show you you know the creams can come out differently each time you make it 